Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Toothless TV. Today we got something a little bit special for you guys and it is well deserving of a nice cocktail. We got a new toy that's going to be showed all over every episode now on Toothless TV. And I'll show you exactly where it is outside in one second. Real quick guys, if you wouldn't mind commenting, liking, and subscribing on the video, that would be great. Our goal this year is to reach 1,000 subscribers, and I think we're gonna get her done this year with our new Beast of a uh, Boat. Let me show you the new toy for old Toothless TV. Welcome to the garage. Check her out. Boys and girls, we got a brand new bass boat for the channel. Brand new bass boat for next year's season. Brand new bass boat to do some tournaments in. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, y'all, the new toy is the Skeeter FX20 bass boat. This is a 2015 model that I picked up about a week ago and I've already had a blast on it. Oh, we're gonna go into some detail now. All right, guys, the best place to start for this boat review is gonna be the front of the boat. So what we got here is this new style of jack that I've, or uh, lock that I've never had here. It's super simple, you just pick it up, put her down, and she latches right on. This trailer comes equipped also with a huge tackle or uh, toolbox that's stored onto your trailer. So I can put whatever I need in there tool-wise for long trips. I got a new Fulton winch here. Honestly, couldn't tell you the difference between that and the old one I had, but it does look cooler. And a Fulton jack too. Very big, very robust. Um, you definitely need to grease this thing to make sure it moves because it was a little tough the first instant. And then also this boat comes equipped with, let me show you over here, in our dual axle trailer. This comes equipped with disc brakes on the back of the trailer. I didn't know that at first. Uh, when we first brought it in, I didn't hook it up to the light switch and we tried to back it up and couldn't back the truck up because um, the brakes engage. So uh, they're definitely strong because my truck could not back it up um, without it plugged in. So if you do have this vehicle or this boat, make sure you plug in your, uh, your wire there because if not, your brakes won't engage. Guys, one of the coolest things about this trailer is that you have a step on here. You can climb right into your boat. I've never had one of these before. We're gonna attempt to do this one-handed here. Climb right on up to your toolbox. Come right on up here. And you are on the deck of the boat. We'll show you what's all on the deck of this Skeeter FX20. All right, guys, so right here in the bow of the boat, this is where pretty much all my time spent is we got a Old Trex Minn Kota trolling motor. This bad boy has spot lock. It's gonna have in the future here, live scope and a 360. We've already set up an appointment with the bass tank at the end of the month, and we're gonna have some big things coming. Right now, it did come with a Humminbird Helix 10 unit, which is gonna show our 360. And then I also bought a um, dual graph mount that's gonna have a Garmin 93 SB, which is gonna have our live scope on top comes nice with this little recessed foot tray here. Uh, very comfortable on the feet, especially on them hot summer days when you don't wanna wear shoes. This deck does have padding all around it. So when you don't have your shoes on, you hardly even realize. We got our power pole foot stomps here. You got your down and your up for quick, easy access. Skeeter has also come to quip with their own rod straps built in. These aren't boat buckles. These aren't some aftermarket ordeal. This is the Skeeter boat that has come up with these rod straps. I can fit about four to five rods on each side down the deck. And I don't have to worry about them hitting the bow or the console or nothing. It's great. Guys, this boat has more storage than I know what to do with. And these are just a couple of the uh, compartments that are opened up. I got my storage over here where I can put all my camera gear, all my safety equipment, some other BS there that you may need, towels and whatnot. We got up here some tackle. Um, definitely can fit a whole lot more tackle up here and probably gonna do a little bit better organizing. Um, maybe some money bags, stuff like that to put all my soft plastics in. Right here, we have 
a whole bunch of storage for your Plano boxes or whatever boxes that you decide to use. Um, I pretty much got that squared away, but I may need to upgrade some of the boxes and get some more use out of my space. And then my favorite part here is the rod locker. This is the most exciting thing that I have on this boat other than the spot lock trolling motor is this rod locker. No more do I have to put all my rods back in my truck. No more do I have to wrap them all up and then hope that they stay in the boat. Now I can put all my rods in here when I'm done, easily put it down, and I am ready to rock and roll. All these latches have locks on them as well, so I don't have to worry about any thieves at any parking lots or wherever we're at. This boat does come equipped with one day box. This is the only box in the, uh, in the whole boat that has a single latch opening. You don't have to turn, it's very fast. You can put all of your quick belongings that you're gonna use. I got some tools in here, I got some baits in here, and I got some terminal tackle in here. And this is a removable, you can do whatever you want with it. You got your day box ready to rock and roll right there. I use that multiple times every single day. Here, we got our quick tray system. You can put your pliers. I got a little carabiner here with my snips. You got some scissors. And then I also got some forceps here as well for those pesky hook sets. We also come with some speakers that are inside of the boat. These suckers will blast you even going 70 miles down the road. You can still hear your music. And then another great addition is a built-in cooler in the boat. This boat comes equipped with two built-in coolers and it will hold ice most of the day. You can't see too much in there right now, but I went out this morning around 7 a.m. and there's still a little bit of ice in there and it's about 90 to 100 degrees out here in Arkansas. So just imagine you just caught a whole limit of fish. You're all excited but you don't know how big they are. You might have a scale in your boat, but where's your ruler, may you ask? Do I got it in one of these compartments? No, you don't have to do that on this boat because the Skeeter got you covered and it comes right there with your tournament board ready to rock and roll to see how big your bass is. And it goes right back inside. Don't have to worry about it. So one thing that a lot of people probably don't like on their boats, but I'm super excited that this boat has it, and I do have the option to remove it if I want, but is to have a side console. As someone who's been a co-angler with tournaments, I tell you what, I wish my boater would have had a side console. And I know my wife's happy that we have a side console too. This thing is amazing. It gives the passenger so much more uh, protection from the wind, from the waves, from everything. You got two different handles on here. Down here in the corner, we have different rod sections for you. You can put your butts and your rods in there if you're a co-angler. And then you got a nice little padded area here and a boat buckle built in for your tips. That way your co-angler can have all of his rods right there on the passenger side ready to go. Comes equipped with a nice little cup holder. And then my favorite part about the console is this compartment right here. I can put so much of my daily use stuff in here. Um, it's fantastic, I love it. This is the best part about having a console. So the Skeeter does have two different coolers on this boat. I already showed you the one up front, and then we also have this one right here in the middle seat. I use it as a garbage can, but when you got a lot of people on the boat, you can use it as a second cooler, or to keep extra ice if you wanna keep your fish alive on those really hot summer days. All right guys, so right here at the main console dash of the vessel, we got the command center. Right here, it comes equipped with a hot foot uh, throttle. I've never had a hot foot before. Let me tell you, it's great. When it's rough out there and you're going 50, 60 miles an hour and you got a big party boat coming by you making a huge wake, that hot foot's great to be able just to quickly back her down and keep your hands 10 and two. I do have a new unit coming, um, gonna be installed at the bass tank. It's gonna be another Garmin 93 SV right here on the uh, dash. And then it also came with another Humminbird Helix 10. What I did just get is the Humminbird Smart Strike uh, maps. 
Now, this map right here will give you really in-depth contours for the lakes, uh, specifically in the Mid-South states you have to buy for your region. Uh, but this will cover all the uh, tournaments that we're gonna do next year. And then the Smart Strike system will actually give you a idea of where to fish. It has some algorithm on there based off of the weather conditions, water clarity, time of year, time of day that you're fishing, and then even the species of bass that you're going over. I haven't done too much on it yet, but let me tell you, it's gonna give me a lot of ideas, at least on where to go. I highly recommend the Smart Strike uh, uh, Hummingbird app. All right, guys, this right here is all of our control panels for the boat. We have our general power on and off. We have our horn. We have our uh, lights for our nav and our anchor. We have our bilge, port, and stern. This boat comes equipped with two different um, fuel tanks both your port and starboard, and you can control which one's showing based off of this uh, right here. And then all this center right here is for our live wells. We got our fill, we got our auto circ, and then we got the time that you want these to show. Real quick, I hope we can get it in the lights. I'll show you guys the uh, built-in lights on the boat. Y'all, one of the most important things on a tournament bass boat is to have good quality live wells, and the Skeeter FX20 comes prepared and got you covered. We have two live wells here, one for yourself and one for your co-angler. These live wells are completely separate. There is no going through. There's a middle container there. They have separate um, plugs. They have separate recirks. Uh, separate fills, everything. Um, they come with this nice little lip here, so when it's really rough water, that that fish ain't gonna come right on over, and it's almost like a splash resistant shield. And then you do have a locking hatch, just like every other hatch. Uh, these live wells have done great in the dead of summer. I've been able to keep, keep fish alive in there all day long this summer since I've been using this boat. Back in the heart of the boat is this is our battery compartment tray back here. Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, the guy I bought it from did put in a uh, NOCO um, battery tender uh, charger back here. It'll charge all four of my batteries at once. I plug it right into the boat. It's super simple, really no need um, to undo anything. It's just one little power cord to an extension super easy and then Skeeter was nice enough to give you these little trays here to put your tools in I mean I can't go anywhere without your zip ties and some electrical cord with bungees so that's the back of the boat power pole pumps are back there as well all right y'all like I said before the FX20 comes equipped with two separate gas tanks you got your one here on your starboard and then on your port side over here we got a second gas tank fill with a grab rail. So say you fall off the boat and you need to emergently get back in your boat or you're out there on a hot summer day with your family and you want to jump in the lake, but you cannot get back in the boat, Skeeter got you covered. You come equipped with this built-in ladder system here. You pull it and it comes available. You're able to swing it as you need to get on up. You got your two steps and you can pull right on up. Easy peasy, no problem. Lift it up and it locks right in place. No tournament bass boat is ready to go without a big old motor. And we got a Yamaha 250 SHO motor on this bad boy. And it'll push this boat about 75 miles an hour when you're trimmed up and you are rocking and rolling the right way. This boat's amazing. I still haven't quite figured out uh, the speed and everything with this motor. It's a little intense, but uh, she does get the job done. Not that I've had a lot of use out of these yet because of the summer months, but I tell you what, once the spring rolls around and the heart of fall and those fish are back up in the creeks, these double power poles here are gonna be a lifesaver. I will tell you, it is pretty cool to go up to the dock, not have to worry about dock lines or anything. I can pull right up to the shallows, power pole down, step right off my boat. I don't have to worry about it. The Skeeter FX20 comes equipped with a keel guard built in. So you can pull right up to those rocks and not worry about hurting your boat. Y'all, this wouldn't be a tournament bass boat without a hydraulic jack plate. This boat does come equipped with an Atlas uh, jack plate. And I do have it on the blinker trim here. We got your, um, your uh, trim on one side 
and then you got your jack plate on the other. Guys, not that I have a lot of use for that hydraulic jack plate out here on Beaver Lake, but when we do get to those shallow grassier lakes or in the springtime, I will be able to lift up that jack plate no problem with this right here. And then we'll be able to get a nice quick hole shot in a foot of water, foot and a half of water. Don't have to worry about lowering or uh, tilting my motor up all the way. I can jack plate, have that tilt all the way down, get a nice hole shot and get back to speed as fast as I can. Guys, thank you so much for uh, staying tuned to the end of the video and looking up my new bass boat, the Skeeter FX20. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to have this boat and for big things to come for this YouTube channel. Uh, really appreciate it if you guys just like the video, throw me a comment, let me know what what's your favorite bass boat out there? What do you think accessory wise I need to add onto this boat? Throw me a comment down there, let me know and we'll get her done. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Until next time, we're out.